Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to use the typography options in My Theme Shop themes. So you can do this from your theme options and you'll either want to head to appearance and then the theme options, or if your theme has an appearance and then typography menu, then you'll want to head to typography. But for my theme, I'm going to head to theme options. And now you want to head down to typography and just click on that to load the typography options for your My Theme Shop theme. So you can see here from this option on the options panel, you can control the fonts um, that are used on your site and how they are displayed. So um, you have all the different sections, so your logo, navigation, content, homepage article titles, single post title, and so on, all the way down the page. And you can use the drop downs here to change the options to how you want the content to display. So I'll demonstrate here using the content font. Um, you can see here the default is the Roberto typeface and then um, it's at the normal font weight with a size of 15 pixels and it's this grey colour here. So I can change any of these just by clicking on these options. So here I can choose between any of the 17 standard font sets or if I scroll down further um, any fonts from the Google font library and you can see as you scroll down all of those load. I'm just going to demonstrate here um, changing this from Roberto to uh, to Droid Sans which is a um, classic content font and you can see here I can just do a search for that because I know that's in the Google font library and just click on that and that's going to set Droid Sans as my standard content font. If I wanted this slightly heavier for example um, and slightly larger, then I can use these two options there to set the font weight and the font size and I can also change the colour should I so wish so I might just make that a bit darker there um, and actually as this is a content font I'm going to leave this at the normal font weight and if I hit save there and then head to my site then I can see if I just load up a, an article here and I can see that I have Droid Sans um, at this slightly larger size of 16 pixels and um, with the default font weight. So just to show you how you can change those options um, I'll just head back to the theme options panel and then um, say you wanted to have the content font slightly smaller at say 13 pixels then you'd set that to 13 pixels there, hit save um, if I head back to my site once that is saved on the options panel and refresh then you'll immediately see that um, the body content has been changed to 13 pixels and so all you need to do there is um, set the options that you want hit save and you'll see those changes immediately reflected on your site there are a couple of extra options available to you though and you can use these and you can use these for extra customization so if you click on uh, more on along these options here, um, I'll do this on the uh, single post title to demonstrate on that one. So if you click on more and then you'll see that uh, you can set the CSS selectors and any additional CSS. So for example, at the moment this is, so for example, at the moment this has text transform uppercase. Um, and if we go back to our site, then you'll see that uh, on single posts, titles are displayed in uppercase. So I'm just going to change that from uppercase to uh, another text transform property, capitalize, and then hit save on that. And what that's going to do is when I refresh this, instead of having the title in um, all capitals, that's going to only capitalize the uh, first letter of each word. And that just shows you if I switch back to the options panel here, um, and go back to single post title. That just shows you some of the options and uh, customizability that you've got available to you with your My Theme Shop theme. And you can also use this to add any kind of CSS you'd like to add there. So as well as text transform, you might want to add box shadow or any CSS that you'd want to add in there. And you can even add extra classes if you want to apply new fonts to specific sections of the website. You'll see here, these are the CSS classes used on the single post title, and you can add in any extra ones that you'd like to there. 
As well, just below that, you've got an option to set a backup font. Um, here you can choose between any of the what are known as web safe fonts. And these are fonts that will load um, if for some reason Google Fonts Library either times out or isn't available, or perhaps the user has JavaScript disabled. So you can set one of these web safe fonts here just in case the font from Google Fonts Library doesn't load. So you've got some really powerful options available to you here. And um, on some My Theme Shop themes, when you're selecting which fonts you'd like to display, for the fonts from the Google Font Library, which are below these, um, what are known as web safe fonts here, you'll see you have previews of all of the fonts as, the, as you're looking through them. And you can just scroll down and choose the font that you like the look of, all 600 plus fonts from Google Fonts Library. On other themes though, then you'll just see these uh, fonts displayed as regular font and you can select them and then save and then see what they'll look like then. You've also got the option, if you click the preview button here, of seeing a live preview of what your font is going to look like on your site with any additional CSS you've got applied there. So that's just a handy way of previewing your font selection. Again, in some My Theme Shop themes, not all, um, if you scroll right down to the bottom, you can choose the character sets you wish to include. Um, and now if these are available for the font that you have chosen, then these will display. And this is great if you're writing in a language which doesn't use Latin characters. and You can just tick the ones that you want there. So if we now move back up to the top, you'll see here you've got a button to add new collection. And what this does, if you click that, is add another box here, which um, will allow you to add your own custom CSS selectors and custom font settings here. So you can use this to uh, customize the fonts on areas which aren't included on the default options. So for example, you might have this on a sidebar widget or in the footer or something like that. And that just allows you that extra bit of customizability. So you can fill in these boxes as you would with all the others, um, set the font weight, size, etc., etc. And you can use the CSS selectors here in order to get the font displaying in the area that you want. I'm just going to remove this here as we're not using it. And finally, um, if we go right back up to the top, you'll find this Reset Collections button. And this will reset your typography settings back to the theme's defaults without resetting all of your theme option settings. So clicking Reset Collections reverts this back to the regular fonts. And you can see here, I've lost all those changes there. And that's great if you want to just change it back to how the theme originally was, and you won't lose any of the other settings in your theme options library. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, then head over to the My Theme Shop community. And thank you very much for watching.